Welcome to Movie World, the place where we only talk movies. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm here to review Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. I guess there isn't a 2, but this is the sequel to Venom, a very polarizing superhero film, anti-hero superhero film. Uh, I will put my cards on the table. I didn't hate Venom 1. I really appreciated Tom Hardy and his performance. I love what he's doing with him and the voice, Eddie Brock, and the juxtaposition with Venom. It was fun. And Venom 2, which I'm going to call it, uh, Venom 2 leans into that a lot. And for that reason, I did enjoy the film. However, I, I'm sure a lot of people will not. Uh, if you didn't like the silliness of Venom 1, then I would probably steer clear of Venom Let There Be Carnage. Because what I enjoyed about this sequel was the fact that they had no shame in really tripling and quadrupling down on that relationship between Eddie and Venom, uh, the the constant do this do you know, jokes. There's so many jokes, attempts at jokes, and just silliness. Uh, Can I eat him? Moments like that throughout the film. If that's not your shtick, then avoid this film because it's filled with it. Uh, the film does do make a lot of plot choices that. Um, try. I, I guess I, you guys are seeing this movie. This movie opens now, I guess, to, yeah, it's today. It opened last night. Uh, I had to get a ticket because it didn't screen this in every city. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell some spoilers at the end of this review, near the middle. Uh, I'm going to not tell spoilers now. Uh, but broadly, yeah, there's a lot of plotty stuff that I had some problems with. They do sort of explain some plot stuff, but it's not as bad as the first movie. Whereas I feel like the first movie is setting up all these serious subplots. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't care. I just want to see... Venom versus Carnage. And they do deliver that. Now, the other problem I have with this movie is not the performances. Tom Hardy does well, and even Woody Harrelson's fun. The problem with this movie is just it's this CGI fest of two crazy big CGI tentacle monsters uh, attacking each other. Now, that said, I still kind of liked it. It was kind of fun to watch, even though it is a big computerized finale. They do make this decision to sort of uh, push them in and out of their bodies in the third act finale that I, I appreciated. There's moments where they, there's a sound comes in or something that then forces as Tom lands during the f battle to turn into Tom Hardy and they switch sort of back and forth a lot. How and the, the realities of things, you got to sort of throw it out the window. Uh, but I, I enjoyed their attempt. I think Andy Serkis, who came in to direct this installment, did his best to amp up the humor and have the actors have fun, chop the scenery up, and uh, that's where Ven Venom Let There Be Carnage succeeds where it fails i mean <laughs> it's 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 kind of the whole thing's kind of stupid yeah it definitely is but it really i, I think it works because tom hardy commits uh and i do want to get into some spoilery problems i have with the film some plot stuff and whatnot but before i get there overall yeah I, look i liked it i had fun it's not my favorite movie by any stretch of the imagination but uh, it was interesting enough. It, and again, it's because of the performances. Um, Naomi Harris as, uh, was it Shriek? Eh, she's okay. Uh, actually, it really is just the two of them. And Woody Harrelson doesn't get to shine as much. He plays a bad guy. But uh, I wish he had had the... Because Tom Hardy's doing the voice with Venom. And that juxtaposition of Venom and, Ed, and, and uh, uh, Ed Bro Eddie Brock... Like as a cool, he gets to play sort of two characters and, and mime off each other. It's fun. I wish Woody Harrelson had gotten the same thing. I don't think he did. In fact, did did he? Am I missing something? Did Woody Harrelson do the voice of Carnage? I didn't. It didn't sound like it. But if he did, then I correct them. Correct myself. Uh, but overall, I will say I liked the movie more than I thought I would. And I, and I can see how some people are going to be. Uh, oh, it was his voice? Okay, I stand corrected. There you go. That's why we check things. I knew Tom Hardy was playing Venom, but yeah, the voice of Carnage was also Woody Harrelson making a voice. Uh, so that that makes it a little bit more fun. I, I, now I kind of want to hear it one more time because it really didn't sound like him. So kudos to Woody Harrelson. You tricked me. Um, but yeah, there's something about, I don't know, there's something about the, the Carnage part played by Woody that I didn't see as much as Eddie, Tom Hardy playing Venom. Tom Hardy played Venom better than Woody played Carnage, I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, Michelle Williams is back just because Naomi Harris again, like uh, Dr. Dan, they really make him annoying. But um, uh, overall, yeah, it's fine. It's a fun, silly movie. I had fun. The theater reacted. And man, the theater loved that post credit scene. So if you don't want that spoiled, go see it quickly 
in the theaters. Now, speaking of spoilers, spoiler warning. You have been warned. Before we get there, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button here on Movie World. Hit the bell for all alerts and smash that like button. I've been covering a lot of other news on Popcorn Planet, but I do want to keep giving you movie coverage here. So if you like that, please support, share, engage, all of that jazz. All right, now getting into spoilers. Uh, you've been warned. Uh, some plot points I had problems with were the fact that I don't like that Carnage was made by biting Eddie. I mean, we knew this in the trailer, too. But the fact that he, like, bites, or that, that uh, Cletus bites Eddie, therefore Venom's blood, he tastes it, and somehow the taste of Venom's blood turns him into Carnage. Now, I talked to with Don, because he went and saw it with me. In the, in the comics, Carnage is sort of made because Venom begins uh, a breeding, in a way. It's like e eggs sort of come out, and that's what happens. And then the next form of Venom... They, they get more and more powerful as they procreate, I guess. Uh, I wish they had done something more, a little s clever, instead of just a bite, because it felt very forced. And then, the rem the rem I don't want to, I, I guess even, we can spoil it, but the removal of Carnage by the end of the movie, and how Venom does that, which is a move, move choice they made, also felt strange. I, I hope that's, we're not, that's not unresolved, or is it? In which case, it just felt very convenient and easy uh they set up these creatures and i had the same problem with venom 1. i'm like how the hell are you going to beat these things they're so non they're, it's crazy and then you realize okay there's the sound yada yada i i feel like at the end of the movie they could have figured out a more clever way to do it uh but at the end of the day it's a silly cgi venom versus carnage movie and they definitely didn't figure out how to take it an up, uh, a step above that. By far the best reaction in the film is that final credit scene where, yes, I'm sure a lot of you have speculated uh, the re revelation that we're in that world. Um, a lot of questions as to what that means, how it was shot, what, where are we in a timeline, what just happened. All those questions I was still figuring out with Don, uh, assuming what at what point we were we sort of jumped into what was going on there are, are, do you guys know spoiler warning put them in the comments as you're telling me uh but i'm i'm definitely intrigued to see what that means i'm excited for that uh but at the same time i was a little confused and curious how they're going to address that and then who was involved did marvel and kevin feige really approve all those choices uh was was interesting i'm still speaking in code because i know we're supposed to talk toilets but i know some of you were trying to spoil it and i'm just being better but uh i did like that end scene uh it's, it teases what a lot of fans have been hoping for. But let's say uh, that does lead to Venom versus Spidey. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, the crowd I saw it with was lost their minds in the theater, so that was fun. But, the, I mean, as I step back and think about this good Venom fighting eventually perhaps Spider-Man, uh, I don't know. What are they going to do? Spider-Man's Venom's going to go after him? Uh, it is kind of interesting how Venom looks like him and just was a symbiote, but then we didn't see the. Didn't there's I have a lot of questions, so I'm very curious how all that will play out. Uh, but again, a movie that's best seen as the end credit scene isn't always the best movie. Uh, so going back to how the movie was, I got to give it props because of Tom Hardy, Woody Harrelson, because of their funness, because of the silliness that Andy Serkis, director, and everybody involved let them shine with. Uh, I got to say, Venom's fun. I had fun with it. I didn't hate it. I, I, this is definitely like a six, six and a half of like, yeah, I had a good time. I laughed a few times. There's a couple cool sequences. But overall, nothing I'm going to probably remember or like, I got to see that again. That was amazing. It was good enough. Uh, I liked being back in the theaters. It was very crowded in my theater, so uh, I assume this will do okay. But uh, nice to see the theaters working safely and uh, nice to know that Venom's back and what's going to happen next in the Sony-verse. We shall see. So overall, yeah, it's, a, it's like, a you know, it's a thumbs up, but it's not like, yes. It's not like No Time, Never, uh, what is it? No Time to Die. That that one's way better. Go see that one first. The new the new James Bond, way better than this one, and I look forward to talking spoilers with that too. Uh, but there you have it again. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe bell and, and button. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching all the content here on Movie World.